Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Hope you are liking the series of Java 8 from our channel. So far, we have seen that all the functional interface we have learned so far either used to deal with the wrapper classes or the classes, due to which there was a major performance issue with the usage of primitive types. We also saw that Java do provide predefined functional interfaces for primitive types. So in this video, we'll extend the same topic. Today we'll see the primitive variant of predicates in Java 8. So before wasting any time, let's get started. So I hope you remember the syntax of predicate functional interface. The predicate interface is a functional interface that defines an abstract method named test which takes a single argument and returns a boolean value. This method is used to test and specify a condition or a criteria that can be used to evaluate the argument and determines whether it satisfies the specific condition or not. Now let's see the primitive variant of predicates. The primitive variants of predicate interface are int predicate, long predicate and double predicate which are used to define predicate instances to operate on int, long and double primitive types respectively. An int predicate will always accept input of int type. The long predicate will always accept the input of long type. The double predicate will always accept the input of double type. All these interfaces have the same test method as the regular predicate interface, but it takes primitive type argument in the input type and returns a primitive boolean value. So here you can see that the input parameter for int predicate is an int value. Similarly, the input parameter for a long predicate is a long value. And lastly, the input parameter for a double predicate is a double value. Now let's understand this with a quick example. Now let's take an example to understand how int predicate can be utilized. So in this example, we have a test class in which we have main method. Here we have an array of integers that holds the integer values. Now we have defined an int predicate is even which checks whether the given number is even or not. Now we'll iterate over the array and we'll use the test method to evaluate that the given number is an even number or not. If the number is even number, we'll print it to the console. So we'll write something like this. So let's see this code into the actions. So here you can see we have a test int predicate class and we have a main method defined inside it. Inside the main method, we have an array of integers and we have defined an int predicate. So we are iterating over this array of integers and checking whether the given integer is an even number or not. So let's just compile this code. So I'll compile by Java C test int predicate dot Java and I'll run Java test int predicate. So here you can see only the numbers that are even are printed. So this was it for today. Today we have covered the primitive variant of predicate. In our upcoming video, we'll see the primitive variant of functions. I hope you like this video. So do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for yet another videos on Java 8. Till then, take care. Bye bye and thank you for watching.